The side of Geek Fam is going to be Luke on this Khalid. You have nice rotations. You have some nice early game aggression. You can help out in the mid lane. You can kind of rotate around and give your team some support if they end up needing it. You can even possibly get some nice, like you could punish Ogwin for doing something like this. Or if they want to go for an invade as well, you have those possibilities. Right now, it looks like Ogwen is just trying to waste the time of a boy as well as Beloisky. It's like Beloisky didn't use the second skill, so so far, Ogwen should be able to survive this and view, dishing out the oh. damage. He's gonna take quite a bit of damage himself. Beloisky holding on though. Gonna go ahead and heal up just a little bit. Didn't have to use the flicker either, so he still has that. But once again, this is what you expect from the roamers, right? Put the pressure on early on into the jungle, trying to get a little bit of an advantage that you can. And once again, big thing for Geek Fam is not letting early on that lead slip out of your hands right away, right? This is the scary thing about Amartya's pick. Those, that early burst potential even from a decimate alone and then the snowball potential from that, if it happens to be a double kill, is, you know, quite scary. We've seen that in previous games throughout M5 so far and how out of hand that can get. The thing about Amartya's is kind of all in. So Geek Fam, I feel like if they're able to level up fine, fight around the turtle, Try to punish the, the Martis and then try to get for, for that turtle. A little bit of action up top. Oh. Geek might try to go for the play here. Going to try to get Flap TZ here, but Flicker will do just fine. Now Kyle TZ with the response to back him up, but ultimately nothing happening. Turtle now going to spawn though for both teams as they get in position. Still trying to get that level four as well. So yeah. they'll go ahead and just get ready for that. Yeah, a lot of players still waiting on the level four spike. This first turtle could actually be a huge huge one. We have a lot of players from both teams here. Beloisky, though, still on the mid side. And without him, it could be hard to get some of these sets. It's going to kind of be more up to Luke to maybe dive into this back line. Looks like he's trying to get that angle. Penalty zone going to be used by Flap. Still whacking Marky here. Trying to keep him at bay. Won't be able to get the turtle. First blood going to the hands of Kyle. Tease him with the response from Luke. Comes through. Now he's dealing with it. Has to flick around. Beloisky and a boy. Here to help him out, so the one-for-one one trade. But it was Kyle TZ that went down. Beloy, now the focus. Both teams still working for it. Beloisky, a couple hits away, gets taken down. Marky making his way back to get this what? turtle. <laughs> so Marky secures the objective. It's the plus of being able to get there a little bit faster, right? Because they rolling. both died right about the same time. He gets there a little bit quicker. At least they secure the turtle there. AP Bren still holding the goal lead, but it is a small win after the two deaths that they just took. Right now, I'm reminded of the quote coming in from Few, understanding how Beloisky plays, where he will make the play even if it's very risky. So this might be the plan of AP Brand is that they're willing to sacrifice the neutral objective because that happened in game number one. Game number two, it looked like they were, like, if they got the turtle, that was just a bonus. Mm -hmm. Their main goal, shut down the players, making it so that they could not play, making sure that they spent most of the time uh, basically just doing in the fountain, not doing anything. No, just kind of choking them out where they can, right, for the most part. And again, it's still pretty even, even with how all that kind of went down. Few, though, taking the black shoes himself. We'll be waiting patiently. A boy, though, going to be in trouble. Flap Teasy jumping in. Penalty zone once again. Luke joining the party, going in, finding Flap Teasy. Flap falls. Now Luke gets out with a ranging sandstorm. Geek Fam, though, still evening things out. Will find one for themselves. Yeah, they find another kill there, which is very big for them, right? So now it's two to two. They got a kill on a Kyle Teasy. They got a kill on a Flap Teasy. Luke not doing too bad with the kill in his pocket as well. It's exactly what you want to have with a Khalid. And if we take a look at the gold lane, both of them at a stalemate. And I th right now, Chidera honestly kind of winning out in his lane a little bit, keeping uh, Super Marco under the tower, keeping pressure up. And as long as he can keep that up, yes, Super Marco still has oh. some late game advantage. Oh. They're going to find Few. Few too late, though, to get the black shoes. So he's going to fall there. Again, a great decision coming out from Geek Fam. Now, working on this lead they're building. Turtle's gonna be up once again. Both junglers getting in position. All right, Geek Fam playing into their power spike very nicely with Bell. Yeah, Wojski goes in, finds Kyle as well as Flapteezy. Looks like this Turtle is gonna be oh, going Kyle. over to Geek Fam. Kyle Teezy can't even get close. Marky able to secure the Turtle. Now Flap waiting for the rest of the team to get here. Circling Eagle gonna be used. 
finds it, gets the flicker oh. out. Now Kyle Teasy punishing, gets the double. Looking for another Marky though. Luckily gonna be tanky quite a bit, but won't be enough as Few comes in to clean up the kill. Again, this is just trading. True, you can get the turtles, we're gonna get the kills. And at this point, Kickman with the lineup they, they have, they should be winning a lot of the fights, but they're just taking way too much damage before the fight even begins. I mean, at least Jadera gets that tower. They're gonna move this, this mid side. Oh, oh, nice Raging Sandstorm. Luke jumping in on Oakwind. Gonna be just fine though. Few also working with his own I'm Offended. Gonna pull them through. They disengage. And as you were saying, at least they get that turret down in the bottom lane for Geek Fam. Yeah, now that Chidera can kind of get involved in these fights, it'll give Geek Fam a little bit, a little bit of an edge here. They have been kind of winning out in some of the fights. The last time, Luke was so close to getting the kill, and Few comes in and gets a Terrify before he can get his third spin on his first skill. And he would have got the kill, but then that Terrify just stops him in his tracks. Yeah. And that was like the big turnaround on that last turtle fight right here. Geek though. Oh, oh. Beloy, gonna find Few. Few gonna be in trouble once again. Oh. Yeah, tries to get out with a Guiding Wind, but the damage is too much as he falls. Ogwin trying to keep the map bay from getting the tier one in the mid lane. Kyle Teasy gonna go for it, gets the Decimate on top of Tadera, just like that in the mid lane. And they work for Beloyski as well on the bottom side. But doing work, Luke on top gets the turret. Kyle TZ getting that kill onto Kadera is actually huge. It is. Because the moment he got the Berserker Fury and he was able to take down a turret, that was the moment that, all right, guys, now we can move as four. Move as a unit because if you have uh, the Ruby, the Lilia, the Bruno, and the Boxia moving together, they're basically going to win majority of fights. But getting the kill onto Kadera, that's going to stop them for quite a bit. Well, once again, fighting for the objective here. Two for two so far for Geek Fam. Marky trying to get in position, rolling around. Oakwin takes quite a bit of damage himself, has to flick around. Marky will get the next turtle. Three for three. Few taking the front of the damage. Black shoes, but Chadera wants the kill. Won't be able to get it though. Now Geek Fam making their way towards the mid lane. Looked like Kyle TZ was still hungry for more, but they have to back off even out of their jungle. Right now, honestly, if Geek Fam plays it well, they can actually get a lot of objectives on the map without actually going for the kills. They just gotta zone people away. Luke zone everyone away, a boy just dealing the damage, same as Kadera. And then don't risk things out, just just poke them, make them go outside of their turret, you know, just to go back to base, and then grab those turrets for free. Man, Luke and Chadera are gonna start hurting more and more and more. As you mentioned, the Berserker's Fury's in, he's got the Haas Claws, and then we take a look at Luke, he's got the Blade of Hepatitis, and now he's got some penetration in as well with the Malefic Roar, and that's gonna have to be something that AP Bren watches out for. Luckily, Super Marco, hasn't taken a death yet. So he's, yes, he's a little bit behind Chidera, but there is a possible late game saving grace with Whoa. Super Marco on this clock. Focusing once again, Beloisky trying to keep the map bay. Worldy gonna be used. Now Geek Fam looking for the collapse. They're gonna jump on Few. He's taken out. Luke goes in with Raging Sandstorm. Not gonna find the connection he's looking for. Kyle TZ. The heal. The heal is there for the Sand Guard as he gets punished. It's a double for Chidera and they punish AP Bren. What a deny. That heal, that, that was just literally slivers of health right there. A beautiful play from, who is this team right now? Dude, Where was this that last game? Like I said, warm up, right? They just needed to warm up and I would say AP Bren, they wouldn't want to make the mistake of going in when they don't have to because if they want to go on to Kadera, try to kill him off as quickly as possible, even though, yes, they went for uh, Boloiski, but Boloiski was able to survive, and then, oh, wait, did you use all your skills? Kadera's mm. just going to jump back in. So it's something that they have to be careful of. The burst coming in from Geek Fam is quite strong. So if they can get a kill, get a kill very, very quickly, and then maybe get out. I definitely like it. Now this is going to be first Lord of the game. Geek Fam definitely holding an advantage, but I like that they're kind of they're pacing this out. They have the uh, the long lane down bot. They have an advantage down there as well. So as long as they can, you know, just they can take this. They don't have to take this too fast. Um, when it comes to the game in total, though, there are some things they have to worry about if they want to go into the long haul. Well, that I'm offended. Not going to land from Poloiski. Trying to keep Super Marco at bay. 
Lord's still going to be worked on. Half health now for both teams. Conceal play going to be committed. Ogwin forced out of here. Half health himself. Luke getting in position, but Lord will reset. AP Bren still taking it slow here against Geek Fam now with the lead 3.5 ahead. At this point, AP Bren, they got to pick a target, man. Ogwen finds Luke. A boy's not going to be that easy to, to get, so I don't know. AP Bren is going to be difficult for them to go with. Yep. Again, there's the oh. I'm offended. Going to find the connection. Flap easy. Taken out really quickly. Oh, still no angle. Able to find just yet. AP Bren might have to just back off here. Kyle Teasy having trouble getting through the front line of Geek Fam as they secure the Lord. Well played from Geek Fam, very meticulous overall. Able to take that, not only that, but they're winning out in the lanes too. The macro, the micro, everything in these fights. Geek, I mean, they definitely warmed up. If that's what game one was, then now they are a well-oiled machine and AP Bren is having trouble with them. I would say the biggest glow up from game one to game two is definitely Kadera. Not only did he win his lane, mm. but so far he's been positioning so well yep. and not just defensively, but offensively as well, going back in, being able to dish out the damage, making it so that AP Brand, none of their front miners are really safe. He really stepped up from game one to game two. Also, also Beloisky. Beloisky's actually been making these uh, I'm Offended count. He's been making these skills lock on, and he's not just going down immediately. Oh, oh. Teasy going to jump in on Kader with the penalty zone. Going to force him out the best they can, but he's going to be trapped now. Over a committing will get taken down to the bottom side. The Lord finally taken down for AP Bren. Still trying to hold on to as much health on these turrets as they can. Half health for this bottom one in the base. The wave's now pushing in. Kadera gonna do the work. They get the turret, forcing AP Brent back further Whoa. into the base. They gonna don't want to overcommit. Beloisky gonna jump in, gets oh. the kill. Ogwin gonna fall to Kadera. Beloisky, the answer, falls as well. Super Marco still keeping it together here. Geek fam though, now garnering themselves nearly a 7K lead. Beloisky the answer, and Marky the solution. AP Brand can ask questions, and the question is now, oh. what is going on? And what's <laughs> going on right now? It's flapped. Okay, there, there we go. go. There, there we go. go. There, there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> question mark. First game, warm up. Because second game, they look hot. And I feel like everybody on the team, like you mentioned that. Uh, that Chidera stepped up, but even Luke, oh, yeah, Beloisky, it feels good having Luke on this more aggressive hero where he can actually make plays happen. He's not just, you know, got his little fire hose out. Can, is Neil's <laughs> job in, in jeopardy here? Neil, Niall, yeah, sorry, Niall. Niall's job is, is it in jeopardy? Because Marky has been securing <laughs> all these objectives and he's going up against Kyle Deasy. You know, let it be Turtle, let it be Lord. He's been securing let's all Let's not of talk them. about that. I. We'll figure out. We'll figure next, it out. Next series. I'll say this though. Okay. What say do we this. say? I'll reference what has already been said, and that's the quote from Marky okay. himself. That you know he is really counting on his team, and I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. But also Marky is performing probably the best he can, and he is doing it against one of the best junglers out there, Kyle Teasy, right now. He deserves the moniker, the solution. Yeah. And it's because he always. I mean, no matter what, he comes in. Yeah. Did he earn that just this last time when he when he subbed uh, in, in, in the MPLID. playoffs? MPLID. Did he, yeah. And yeah. it happened in the playoffs. Yeah. I thought maybe he had that previously nope. when he was in PH. No, huh? Uh, yeah, no. So he came in yeah. as the gold leader, became the solution. Yeah. yeah. And game, what was it, game five he came in? And, or, and, ga or no, like game three, match point he came in, right? Yeah. It's 2-0. Imagine that. That was gold lane. Now yeah. he's come in for jungle. After and this, he's winning games I, I at M5. He's going to have a conversation with a boy. He's like, yo, boy. <laughs> you, you ever feel like you want to take a break? <laughs> I got you. You want me to play mid? <laughs> I got you. Yeah. What, what's next for Marky? You know? <laughs> He's going to be like, hey, coach. Ocho <laughs> Gahaba. Ocho <laughs> Gahaba. Hey, coach. Hey, Ocho Gahaba, you know? You want to take a break? I'll coach. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Hey, not going to lie. That, that, that could work. The solution. Oh, wait. I see my name. Aw, uh, it was behind. Kyle? Your name's Kyle? No, LaFell. Kyle Tucson? No, no, it was... It was at that you know, it was a uh, upper, but yeah. Now we're gonna talk about the game. It looks like Kadera, the way that he's been positioning, and here's the thing about Bruno. Once he has the Haas Claw, the 
the damage conversion into lifesteal is massive. Mm. So if you don't take him out or if you don't lock him down, he's just going to keep on surviving. He, it's, a, it's a gold laner with a EXP laner kind of survivability. I want to. Yeah. Does he? Did he just pop in that last dive that came from? Um, um, did he pop a wind of nature? Does he have the wind of nature right now? He didn't use it. Because I, th I thought maybe he did. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. How, how confident? How confident <laughs> are you, Lavelle? Not that confident. Huh? Just, you want to put it back? <laughs> Roll yeah. the tape back. <laughs> I mean, okay. Let me check back because I don't I remember. Think that's if he, what if he, he was working to. I could be wrong, but I think that's what his next item was working to. Yeah, that's why. I, no, it he's, looked like he's got it. He's got it. He's he got, got it. he got like a full face full of a uh, uh, penalty blazing zone and, and blazing duet there, and he was able to. And I'm pretty sure he popped it. Pretty sure which, he used it. Yeah. Which means at that point, he is in good standings, man. Yeah. Like they literally need to hard CC him down, and they don't really have that exactly. They got to get like a terrify, a penalty zone, a knock up from the Matilda, and that's not going to be easy. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're trying to focus down on, uh, you know, getting or, or at least putting pressure on Kadera here, it's like it is Flap. Like, Flap's the one to probably do that. But then when he does it, you got to make sure, too, that there's follow up, right? Because we saw what happened in the last interaction. He did it. Wind of Nature was probably most likely used, if I recall. And then he was just caught out by himself, right? There, there was no other follow up through with the rest of the team. So that is the tough part. Familiar face. Is that Mr. Renmar? That is. Mr. Reptar? I'm looking at this and I don't think he used the wind no. of nature. No, I don't think he, he used it. Wow. He so looked he like just... shadowy there. He looked no, like. No, no, it was it like... was the revenge strike. Ah. The, oh. Yeah, it was the revenge strike. Okay. So he's just that. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't think he used the wind of nature, no. I'm I'm, I'm looking back at it again. How confident are you? No, look at this. <laughs> it's it's the uh it's the revenge strike. I don't think he used the wind of nature. Right, Flap I'll, just I'll couldn't get to him. Here, here, here. You, you, you guys can check it out. Yeah, Flap just couldn't get to him. It's right there. What does he look like right there? See? Oh. I mean, you guys can't see what we're referencing. Where, where yeah, we're you can't see what we're referencing. Oh, oh spin. Go Yasu. Let's go Yasu. Let's go Yasu. Let's go Yasu. Oh. Uh, boo. Yeah, he didn't use the window. Does nature. it look like he's invisible? Does it doesn't look like it right there? No, no, no. It, it looks like it's the aura of the it's revenge strike. Aura of the revenge strike. Oh, he said go again. Oh, well, we're going to the game. We're going to the game. You know what, Yasu? Just tell us what happened. Yasu can't hear us, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> Big luck. L. Big L, Yasu. Big L. <laughs> Roll again. Well, what? We're going to ask for an instant right. replay? <laughs> Get into the game. It's like, instant replay. Did he use the wind of nature? He has it, but I don't think he used it. Because even the uh, either way he survived, even the really blazing duet, it doesn't yeah. look like it, it hit him a lot. The point is now that he does have it, whether he used it then or not, it's gonna definitely become very hard to lock down onto Tajera here. Now next Lord's gonna be up in 20 seconds, 7,000 gold lead. Do we think that AP Bren tries to uh, get the Lord steal here? I. This is the this is the concerning thing, right? Like. AP Brent has done this before where they're able to pull through and somehow get a steal on the Lord, but the lineup that Geek Fam has, it makes it very difficult. Now oh. they're gonna chase down Super Marco, has to pop his own win of nature. They're gonna be forcing that out. Also the Purify as well, all this leading into the Lord now. That is massive. The fact that he already used a majority of the skills means that they can take this board. And if AP Brent wants to contest, they have the option. Do we wanna go for the kill or do we wanna go for the board? When you have a 6.4k advantage, you have the, the how do I say this? You have the benefit of making those choices, especially because you have Kadera on, uh, on this Bruno, a boy on this Lilia. You have a lot of poke damage. Oh, Luke, behind enemy lines here, gonna get whittled down quite a bit, flickers out. Oakwood okay. gets the kill. So again, Luke trying to find his own angle in this fight for the Lord. It's gonna be secured though for a Geek Fam. But AP Brand might still want something. Again, it might be better they defend in the base, at least put some pressure, at least in the mid lane. Tier one, just one hit away, essentially. They're not going to be able to get it just yet. AP Brand still has to be on the defense. Okay, I would say that could have been a win for AP Brand, at least getting something there. But the fact that the wave comes out and now Lord is going to be a little bit delayed, Luke's going to come out just in time. And overall, Geek Fam's okay with taking a loss to get that objective. Yeah, I would say it is more a favor towards Geek Fam. 
I, 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 I'm sure Luke didn't want to die there, but he was prepared for that kind of trade. Yep. Now it's all about Geek Fam. Now that the Lord is marching, I feel like for this to be profitable is the, if they can get at least one inhibitor. If they don't get one inhibitor, then it's not going to feel as great. All right, so Super Marco now is max itemed out as well. He's going to be able to shred down this Lord. He's going to be able to maybe make a bleak play happen. It's going to be very important here. Once again, too, a few holding on to the I'm Offended. That could change the course of the fight here as they get ready to march in. Veloisky, the front of the line alongside Marky. Keeping him at bay here. Lord going to be whittled down slowly but surely. Mid turret finally going down to the base of Baby Brent. Still working for it, though. I set now on the top side to fully expose it. Geek Fam, do they push it in further? Can't get the turret just yet. AP Brent holding it together. Kyle Teasy could be in trouble here, but he gets away with his life still. Holding on to the top side, a boy has to use the black shoes. And right now, AP Brent holds on a little bit longer despite the 7K deficit. So far, I feel like it's still a win for Geek Fam because they at least needed one and they're working on the second inhibitor here. So I don't know how long AP Brand can, can survive this onslaught. Well, Beloisky yeah. still holding on, oh! goes in, gets the pull with Alba Fended. Penalty zone to come through as well. Super Marco still on the backside, whittling how down easy. Marky. They're going down one after another. Triple kill for Kadera? Kyle Teasy. Kadera and boy left alive. But AP Bren fights back, only losing few. You now, saw in the eyes of Kyle Teasy, he wanted that. He's like, bro, I can smell the maniac. And that, we were we were saying that all the past fights weren't really wins for AP Bren, but that one right there was a win for AP Bren. And I was just saying, this next Lord is gonna kind of be the point where if Geek Fam doesn't finish the game after this, yeah. it really becomes a stalemate at that point. It really becomes on who just plays better. And right now, AP Bren trying wow. to show that that is very, very true. If I learn anything, man, you gotta respect the Claude. Late game Claude, even though the Claude can take a lot of damage from the Bruno, but if he can calculate well, I don't know. Something in my career keeps on telling me. <laughs> Late game, don't underestimate the Claude. I think even given that whole exchange, that whole fight that we just witnessed, AP Brand still has to be careful. It's actually gonna be difficult for them to work into this Lord dance right now. You can see Super Marco still putting the pressure there. Concealed play gonna be used. Luke trying to find his own angle once again. Slap TZ, can it keep him at bay? Few also picking up the Divine Glaive in the middle of it, still working for it. Super Marco finally joining the fight, but still both junglers holding it together. Yeah, right now the Lord is around 21,000 HP left, 20,000 now. AP Brand, if they want to contest for this, they're going to try to punish Boloisky first, apparently. Oh. Few also holding on to the I'm offended here. Might look for a zone. Penalty zone going to come through. Once again, Super Marco on the backside. Kadera pops the wind of nature, though. BMI's back. Kyle TZ gets out of dodge as well with a guiding wind. Both teams still healthy. Don't lose anyone. And we're back to the Lord Dance. That was Wind of Nature versus Wind of Nature. Both of them just unloading on each other. And I think when it comes down to that 1v1, it's going to be who pops theirs first, right? If you end up popping it first and the next player pops it later, the one who pops it later is going to have a little bit of an advantage. The oh. oh! Luke takes care of you just like that. Where did he go? And now, once again, Lord going to go in and reset. Both teams still going to go. Penalty zone to jump in. Luke goes Luke. in on the bottom side. No, not AP like Bren this. Yes, like this. They can't get yes, there like in this. time. Luke not does like it this. after getting few. He goes into the base and takes the game for Geek Fam, evening the series one to one. Luke just goes in and like, don't look at me. I'm